Welcome back to another episode of Chef Andy where we are going to be making the famous Cacho e Pepe. We basically only have two to three ingredients here. We have our Pecorino Romano cheese, our Cacho, and then we have our black pepper as well as we're going to use some spaghetti and then water. You can literally cook this meal for under $10 in under 10 minutes. So let's get cooking. The thing that's gonna take the longest is your pasta. So this is a trick. So the pasta has a lot of the flavor, a lot of the power in the pasta. So we're just gonna put it right into our pan that we're gonna cook with. I wanna cook it in this pan because I want the most starch as possible because that starch is gonna turn into our sauce. Now I'm just gonna fill this up right to the brim. So take your hand, push down the pasta and the water should just go right on top of that. And that's how we want to cook it. Put it right here and we'll put this on medium, medium high and get this pasta going. Now, don't worry, your pasta is probably a little bit longer than your pan. Once this gets cooking, it's all just going to mix right in there and, and fit into your pan. Look at this. Already you can see the water turning super starchy. That's going to be one of the keys. We're going to use this water as our sauce. Now we want to be pushing this pasta down, getting it all into the water. And you can just see already, this is getting super thick and super starchy. Wow. So while my pasta is already cooking here, I'm going to take my Pecorino Romano cheese and I'm going to grate up about I'm probably gonna use like a cup. I found that you don't wanna add too much pecorino because we don't wanna overpower it with the cheese. We don't want it to be super thick and, and cheesy. We want it to be, you know, kind of silky, nice, elegant. Now I'm just really waiting for this pasta to cook. Tongs are perfect for this because it's just gonna break up the pasta. You can just stir it around, but we need to add a little salt. Get it nice and, you know, tasting like seawater. When I decided I was gonna cook this for the show, I'm so excited because literally it's just the easiest, simplest meal and it tastes bomb. People would be like, did you add cream? Like. How'd you make this? Like, and you're like, no, just uh, water, pepper, and cheese. Have confidence when you're cooking because you know when you use good ingredients, you're always gonna have good food. Look, you can see the water's reducing, it's burning off, it's turning extra beautiful and starchy. I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna add in my Pecorino Romano cheese. I'm just gonna put that right on the top there. Like risotto, we're just gonna keep adding, you know, a little bit more cheese. Oh my gosh, this is looking delicioso. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my crushed pepper. Now you can use a mortar and pestle, but I got this awesome pepper mill and it just breaks it up perfect. Be generous with the pepper, don't get scared. Another great thing about using pecorino is that it's a goat cheese, so if you're like allergic to a lot of cheeses, this one you probably shouldn't be because you know it's not cow's milk, you're using goat. All right, pasta is looking good. Let me get a plate. Beautiful, oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna add a little pepper to the top here, and then maybe a little around the plate for decorative. Wow, that just looks beautiful. And I give you the cacho e pepe. All right, beautiful, I gotta try this. Wow, this is incredible, amazing. It's got the pecorino cheese, that nice black pepper gives it a nice little kick. This is how it's done, people, right here. There you guys go, cacho e pepe. From your boy, Andy. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to join the cooking movement and subscribe to the channel. Give it a big thumbs up. Put in the comment section what you'd like to also see me cook. I'm gonna finish up this beautiful pasta and I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Ciao belly.